Nice of you to come, Colonel. Oh. How do you do? I, um... I wanted to offer my condolences in person. Thank you. You know, your husband, he, uh, he was, uh... Well, it wasn't his fault the way he died. I, uh... I thought you'd like to know. My husband's place was on the general staff. There are just two kinds of soldiers, those who fight and the others. The paratroopers fight. He became one of us. Oh, I brought you his, uh, paratrooper's badge. Paratroopers are nothing but adventurers. I refuse to believe he seriously became one of you. I'm sorry. I thought it might comfort you. It, uh... It really wasn't his. It's an old one of mine. My mistake. Now, there's a fighter's face. You take him out of those fancy feathers, put him in some battle fatigues, he could almost be a paratrooper. He happens to have been one of Napoleon's generals. Oh, really? I bet he uh, sent home a lot of loot, huh? The chandelier, for one thing. Oh. When they took Venice. Cano. Yeah? I didn't mean to be so rude. Oh, that's all right. I'm still not myself. Sure, I understand. It was kind of you to tell me that lie. I wish you luck in getting a new command, Colonel. Oh, I'd rather rely on tactics with some strong reinforcements behind me. Well, is there any way I can help you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, Countess, uh, I could use some uh, elite troops like you on, on my side. Uh, <laughs> You see, I thought that maybe... Colonel, Mr. De Guillaume will see you now. Colonel Raspighi, sir. Sir. When my niece asked me to see you, Colonel Raspighi, your name was already very familiar to me. Thank you, sir. A lovely lady, the Countess. In this ministry, the issue seems to be whether you should be given another command or asked to resign. I will never resign, sir. That's up to you. I have some questions to ask. Unofficially, of course. Please sit down. Uh, thank you. I prefer standing. It's a habit I developed as a shepherd boy. General Melis complains that you disobeyed his orders at Dien Bien Phu. Several times, sir. The first time in order to recapture a hill. The second time Never mind. I... Would... General Melis seems to have a point, doesn't he? Yes, sir. And they got the hill. Next, there is a story you had some trouble at the release camp in Indochina. I acted in order to protect the pride of my men. They wanted to disinfect us like animals in sheep dip. Oh, I see. Here is a complaint from the customs department. Did you really help to smuggle contraband over the border? Yes, sir. It's a tradition in my village and my family. During World War II, we smuggled French soldiers. Then most of the criticism of you is valid. Yes, sir. The only thing in your favor is a report from Captain Esclavier, the division historian. <laughs> in it, he speaks highly both of you and my niece's late husband. Esclavier is a fine scholar, sir. And a shrewd one. We can't accept his estimate of Major de Clairfont without accepting as equally true his estimate of Raspighi. Uh, please, sit down. No, no, thank you. He says, among other things, that your junior officers and men respect you in the field. It's your superior officers with whom you can't seem to get along. No, sir. And that is to stop. Yes, sir. If I am going to help you. Help me how, sir? The command of the 10th Colonial Parachute Regiment in Algeria may be open. I'll take it, sir. Failure in this command is the end of your career. The only reason you are being considered at all is because the situation in Algeria is growing worse. Can I take my former officers with me, sir? If they are fools enough to volunteer, no one is assigned to the 10th. It will be composed mostly of rejects from other units. Could you be ready in 10 days to report to the 12th military district in Algeria? Yes, sir. Good luck, Respighi. Thank you, sir. I'd rather rely on tactics. Oh, by the way, sir, uh, who will be my commander-in-chief in Algeria? 
General Mellis. Thank you, sir. Why did you want to come here anyway? I don't know. Guess I'm just testing myself. Your uncle said I might be leaving for Algeria soon. Will you be taking your band of pirates with you? <laughs> the tenth is on a volunteer basis, except for the rejects. But with a little arm twisting, I'll get my men back. That is all except one. Important? Well, questionable, but a good officer. He's an Arab. Arab? Named Mahidi. That may create an impossible situation for you. Well, I cabled him anyway. Of course, he refused. The, uh, cable, uh... It's, uh, been a couple of days, and I still haven't heard from him. It's a waste for you to be a widow. My mother was one at 22. Huh. Well? Do we pass the test? Good morning. Oh, good morning, Countess. Well, what on earth are you doing? Breathing exercises. This develops your wind. You know, that's all warfare is. A question of wind. Is it a beautiful morning? Beautiful. Clean, cool country air. You know, two days in any town, I start to choke. Why don't you... Why don't you live out here? Oh, the place needs a new roof, plumbing. <laughs> And it would cost a fortune. The last one to live here was my grandfather, a hero at Verdun. Verdun? That was senseless butchery. You know, they should have attacked in small groups, well dispersed, 30 yards between each man. Now, if I... <laughs> the hell with Verdun. Mm. Come on, come on. Let's dance. I come back from Algeria, uh, a general. Will you marry me? You'll never be a general, Pierre. You're a beautiful animal of Look, war, but... Never call me an animal. A beast, then. A beautiful beast of war. But generals are a different breed. Why? Because they've been to a few schools I haven't, and read a few books? Let me tell you something. I've been learning on the sly. Ah. This time I come back a general. <laughs> Victorious, all covered with new scars and new medals, which no woman could resist. <laughs> we'll put a new roof on this old pile of stones, be married in a village church. We'll have a great ball for all the top brass. The bastards. Shh. You're talking like a peasant boy. 